Um, I'm going to kick us off with um, Chairman Pitts, and then each, we're going to hear a little bit about the project, and then each of the commissioners will uh, join us to share a few remarks. Mr. Chairman? And good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. As you know, this will be the first in-person meeting of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners in over one year. Uh, what? Well, about, about a year, I'm corrected, in about one year. It's also the opening of the remake of the Assembly Hall and this beautiful outdoor area, which you'll hear more about uh, shortly as well. But this is really a momentous occasion for us, and I'm delighted to be with you this morning and to be joined by most of the members of the, uh, of the Board of Commissioners, and you'll hear from each one of them. So, Madam uh, Director of External Affairs, in which order are we going here? Um, and then by we'll, Mr. Kirby? Yes, real quick, real quick. All right, affectionately known as Grant Park. That's right. All right. Good morning, everybody. What do you think about the new gateway of uh, Fulton County Government Center? Well, I'm, I'm going to give you a few, I'm going to let them talk about hopefully how beautiful it is, but I'm going to tell you the process a little bit. When I got here a little bit over four or five years ago, if you remember, this place was a ghost town down here, was it not? Uh, and every time... The, the first step in getting ready to getting to this point was everybody remembers the yellow pads with the skylight leaking and these, these, these offices leaked as well. That was really the first step and I can say mission accomplished years ago for that. Uh, that was step number one. Step number two was really developing a plan to bring customer centric operations back to the atrium. You can see the tax offices that we built, the information center, the vital records, and then more to come. As we, as we continue to grow down here at the atrium. That was the second level of the process to getting to this point. And then we get to this point, a three-level uh, uh, three construction here. Uh, first, the entry plaza. It is finally ADA compliant and usable, folks. Uh, so many years looking at how bad it looked, Commissioner Hall, uh, Commissioner Hausman, and then uh, we couldn't even use it because it wasn't ADA compliant. That was step number one. Step number two was coming in here and opening the atrium up. Uh, it's open, airy, with the beautiful logo in the middle. Very excited about the new look in here. We have a little bit more to do in here. Also, you can see the new atrium lights that we're finalizing. Uh, come by here in a couple of weeks at night. It's beautiful. And we're going to have Fulton County colors first, and we can do holidays and others as approved by the board. And last but not least is Assembly Hall. Uh, it's just modern technology and a modern look. And I can't wait for us to get in there. Uh, bear with us today. We've done a lot of work to get ready for today and just to go with it today. I can't wait for the success of the day and the, the meeting here. Uh, in closing, thank you, commissioners, Fort County leadership, and all the employees. I can't name all the employees and department heads and others who helped us get to this point. I do want to specifically uh, recognize, and also partners. We had a lot of partners to do this. I want to recognize a few of the key uh, Cooper Carey, H.J. Russell, Brad Construction, H.G.O.R., uh, J.H.C., and others. There's a lot of others. I can't name everybody. Thank you, commissioners. Thank you to them for getting to this point. Uh, and I'm excited about the new Fulton County and the new look that we have. So I'm going to let the commissioners speak. And then Bill, Bill Mason's going to close after the commissioners, right, Jessica? These nice ladies are deferring to each other. One of the ladies in blue is going to go next, I guess. Welcome, everybody. I, I have to say it's so exciting just to be back in this building, um, to see all your faces, um, and to meet in person. The dynamics of meeting on Zoom have been difficult, and so I'm looking forward to actually working face-to-face -face with my colleagues again. But what a great day, and what a great day, way to kick it off while with... Uh, Ellis just mentioned it was is all well and good and beautiful. 
my favorite part of this is the front. And I see tables and I hear employees are having lunch out there and enjoying themselves. And that's exactly what we had hoped for. Um, when I first came to the commission over 10 years ago, I was a little taken aback by the condition of the front entrance. And Commissioner Garner and I, who started at the same time, were simultaneously working on what can we do to, to improve that. And when we recognized that we were both working on it, we started working together, along with Keep Atlanta Beautiful, to try and come up with a solution with, with the help of the uh, private sector at that point, um, which did not come to fruition, but we worked on it for a long, long time with the help of the Integral Group also. And so what Fulton County did when we took it up back over and decided to do it turned out so lovely. Um, incorporated the intent of the original architect, Paul Freeberg, who we literally had come out and walk it with us while we were trying to work with Keep Atlanta Beautiful to make it beautiful and make it be the big deal that we all know Fulton County is. So this is a great day, very happy, and I encourage everybody in Atlanta to check it out and especially happy that our employees have had a place to eat outside, especially during the pandemic. So thank you very much. So now you see why I wanted Commissioner Hausman to go first, because, because we worked on this together. She yes, picked it up. We worked on it together, but it was when I was actually chief of staff to the late Fulton County Commissioner Joe P. Garner. So I wanted um, Commissioner Hausman to have the honor of speaking about that old fountain. But I want to say it's a pleasure to witness this ribbon cutting uh, of the newly renovated and upgraded atrium, assembly hall, and entry plaza, because reaching this major milestone is like this can only be achieved through teamwork. And so I want to publicly acknowledge the dedicated and commitment of our county manager, Dick Anderson, and the county executive team, especially our deputy chief operating officer of infrastructure, Ellis Kirby, director of DREAM, Joe Davis, and Bill Mason, the project leader, and so many more uh, contractors and consultants. I'm happy to see these renovations come to life because the atrium provides a modern, sleek look now that's inviting to our residents. And Assembly Hall's first major renovation is now. It's been more than 20 years since we've seen Assembly Hall get any type of major renovation. Well, 20 years ago when it opened. Um, Assembly Hall is the primary place where our residents come to tell us their opinions, give us input, um, speak to us about the needs of their families and their neighborhoods. And so also I want to speak on the chairs because I've had many of a constituent come to me and say these chairs are like sitting on concrete or hard wood. So it's really good to see 300 new cushy chairs with arms and lights and and so many great features that the constituents can literally sit in comfortably during our meetings. But of course, you know, it's the technology for me. Um, as many of you know, my past um, career was IT manager for over 20 years, so I'm really impressed to see the new technology, the uh, video conferencing upgrades, the upgrades to how we vote. I'm looking forward to us using that. The, um, this is really a state-of-the-art facility, so I want to commend our IT department and the co contractors and consultants that help make us that state-of-the-art facility. Um, as Commissioner Hausman said, Commissioner Garner and Hausman were advocates for this fountain. Um, all I heard was about the green, slimy water, and it was the former Atlanta mayor, Shirley Franklin, who called Commissioner Garner's office and said she was walking into the building and saw the fountain slimy and green and saw the, the sides of the columns falling apart and she just turned around and left. And that's what um, started us to look into how can we make this better. But as your executive sponsor of the strategic priority area, All People Are Healthy, this is healthy because it allows our residents, our visitors, and our employees to come and have fresh air and sit out here and eat lunch 
and speak with each other. And as you know, fresh air makes for clean lungs, gives you more energy and mental focus, and lowers your blood pressure and heart rate, which is something that we need serving our community every single day. So thank you to everyone who contributed to this, these major projects, and I'm looking forward to hearing the feedback from our constituents because I know they're gonna love it. Thank you all. Good morning. Good morning. All right, there we go. I am very elated to be here. I'll be short and brief, but I'm happy to see this happen under the leadership, of course, of our chair Pitts and also uh, the county manager, Dick Anderson, and his department. But what I want to share with you today that this is a beautiful day because I remember being down here, and I'm getting ready to show my age, but I remember being down here raising hell about palm trees and scandal athletes. And so someone as a community activist that saw the palm trees as an issue, saw and felt that the government center was, wasn't really inviting to the public. It wasn't really a spirit of inclusivity to see this happen today and see it as a commissioner is a wonderful sight. So I applaud your leadership as well as my colleagues that this is an open environment, beautiful, inviting for all of the employees, inviting for all of the stakeholders of Fulton County that this building belongs to all of us. And it's beautiful. Thank you. Well, I was going to mention the palm trees. I'm glad my colleague has done that. I am wearing my uh, Indian head penny cufflinks, which I try to wear at most of our commission meetings because I like to watch the pennies. And uh, one of the things, this is a beautiful space, but it's not ostentatious. And so the taxpayers and our citizens come down here. Everybody has the right to expect their government buildings to be in good shape and taken care of and attractive, but not ostentatious. And, and Ellis, you all have done a tre tremendous job in making it attractive, but not ostentatious, and I applaud you for that. And it's gonna be a lot easier to maintain that scum pond since it isn't here anymore. So congratulations on that as well. We'll save some dollars there. But thank you for all for being here. Thank you for your great work. And we'll look forward to uh, being here many, many times. Thank you. Good morning. You know, I think it's about roughly about six years ago, if I remember right, that uh, sitting and talking with the county manager and starting, which I think you just about started maybe about a month or so in at that point, about the state of our buildings and all the stuff that needed to be done. You know, certainly assembly, certainly this building as well as a number of our buildings. Um, and we've been doing a lot of work over that past six years, right? Ellis, this is my brother Ellis right here. He's got the, we, get, we share names, one's first, one's last, but I get a lot of his emails, so I see, I see how busy he is. I guess he gets some of mine as well. But uh, we started that conversation and we started a plan about how we're we gonna do that at all of our facilities. And certainly this was part of that plan. Uh, you know, and playing on what Commissioner Morris said, you know, when you, when, you, when you come to somebody's house and your front door's battered in, you go in the living room, there's buckets sitting inside, and then you go down in the basement to, uh, you know, maybe sit down and watch the big screen TV, and it looks like a, you know, a seedy theater, uh, you don't really, you ain't going to go back and visit your neighbors on that. So we had a facility here that was not welcoming to our citizens, and it was not a place necessarily that many of our employees were necessarily proud of to be associated with. Um, and that all, that's all changed over the course of the past five to six years, and today marks another big step in that direction with the changes that you see here. So I want to thank everyone for their work, 
uh, and for the detail that's been put into this, I think it looks great and is a great representation of what Fulton County government is all about. So thank you. Good morning. Uh, excited to be here, like all of my colleagues. Excited to see the changes that are being made, uh, not only here in our government center, but all around Fulton County, as we refocus our efforts uh, on improving our infrastructure, on improving our buildings, on improving our foundation. And so I'm so excited. I'm glad that uh, we got some space here uh, instead of that big water uh, obstruction in the middle of the floor. <laughs> And uh, very glad that we've got grass and tables outside on the front. Uh, it really makes it more inviting, uh, more welcoming, not only to our employees, but also uh, to the citizens of Fulton County. So uh, Ellis, your team, county manager, everyone, uh, Jessica, obviously, for bringing everyone here today. We're excited uh, about the new grand, uh, the grand reopening and restructuring of our Fulton County Atrium and our outdoor plaza. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Bill Mason, our director of uh, our Secure our Urban Redevelopment uh, Capital Improvement Program. And as uh, you see here today, these projects are just part of a much larger, comprehensive uh, program of infrastructure investment infrastructure improvements, not only for the government center, but also for the county's other downtown properties. And the idea is to position these properties uh, to better serve our citizens and our employees in the future. Uh, although we're really celebrating a couple of more visible improvements here today, uh, we've also completely rebuilt our HVAC system here in the government center complex. We've replaced most of the domestic water piping here. We've installed a state-of-the-art fire alarm system. And we currently have uh, modifications going on to our publicly accessible elevators and restrooms here in the government center. Uh, all in all, we've spent in excess of $30 million uh, in the government center over the last few years and uh, have been fortunate to have it funded uh, through the direction of the commissioners and our, uh, uh, the county's urban redevelopment agency bond financing. So thank you very much for your continued support and you'll continue to see these kind of improvements in the future. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We are going to uh, take one kind of group photo of the board real quick while they, we have them gathered here. Um, then we're going to walk around the corner and cut a ribbon uh, into assembly hall. And then we will take one more photo of the board inside. Nathan, can you help me?